get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. This is Coon Cassis for Eiffel TV in association with Macklin's Gym Marbella. We're at the Team Fury Gym here in Bolton. I'm joined by Thomas Fury. How are you, Thomas? All right, how are you? Very well, thank you. And uh, Thomas Aspinall, how are you, sir? Very well, thanks. I'm good. Um, all right, I'll, I'll start with you, uh, Mr Aspinall. Obviously, I've just learnt today, obviously, this is kind of your, your first day here. You've got a, a background in MMA and... You want to see whether you can cut it in the boxing in the boxing world? Yeah, that's right. It's not my first day. I've actually been coming through a bit to do the sparring, but it's my first day that I've decided to focus solely on boxing. But uh, it's time to learn the trade now. I've been doing MMA for a long time. I've been struggling to make it pay financially and just not getting many rewards from it because I'm struggling to get fights. So it's time to uh, switch over and do the boxing. I've gelled with Peter well. Uh, my MMA coach, Colin, has uh, taught me a lot when it comes to boxing, but it's time to learn just the art of boxing now. So first day switched over. Is it something that you've thought about for quite some time or has this been quite recent? Uh, I've thought about it for a bit because I, I was struggling for sparring so my dad contacted Peter, we come down did a bit of sparring and I've been coming about six months altogether. So I've, it's always been in the back of my mind but like I said I can't get fights so I love fighting, love competing, love getting in there and having to do so. If it's the only way I'm going to get fights and I've really, since I've been learning pure boxing I, I've really enjoyed it so since I've started enjoying it that's what I want to do. It seems to be the place to come for heavyweights and uh, obviously the array of talent here uh, in that division, um, sparring-wise and that competitive level, um, you can't ask for more. That's it. I've got top sparring. Uh, I've never had, I was struggling to find any heavyweights to spar with in the uh, MMA and now every time I walk through the door there's at least three or four world-level heavyweights here to spar with, so it doesn't get better than that. Uh, Mr. Thomas Fury, we caught up with you a few years ago now, where I think you was about 12. How old are you now? 17. You weren't far off 12. You might have been about 14, probably. 13 or 14 year old, I think. Yeah. But um, 17 now, I'm a big man now. You was a big man back then as well. I remember uh, you were putting your top, your top off and everyone having to walk out of the gym because being embarrassed, I remember. Yeah, it's, uh, it's one of them. I'm a lot bigger now. Uh, I think I was... Um, I think I was around about 73, 4 kilo then. Now I'm um, 90 kilos, so big change. But I've been training for about two, two and a half months in this camp, so uh, I'm on fire. And uh, I think I'm fighting on the 20th of November in Preston. So anyone who wants to come to that, just let me know on my Twitter account. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said, it was uh, interesting to see you back then, the kind of the, the transition. Uh, up until this period. What, what's happened in the last year for you? Just explain to us. Um, it was one of them, really. I mean, um, I, couldn't, I tried uh, different gyms and I wasn't really gelling with, with any of them. Uh, so since um, nothing really happened for the past couple of years, really, for me, it's just been sitting around training, but learning in the gym. I've uh, been sparring, sparring top lads. Uh, so it's one of them. But now I'm training with my family. Um, learning the job properly so I'm just, I can't really get no better trainer can I and people to uh, train alongside with so it's the best thing for me to do right now so whoever can get me fights uh, I'll fight there but the big thing is um, turning pro really because I've got a pro style anyway so that's the main thing. This is my first fight where people's going to because back then I was, wasn't fighting the way I should be but now I've readjusted my style and uh, this is going to be what I'm about so they're going to see. Massively confused and I thought that you'd turn pro in this time, and but you're looking to turn pro at some point. Yeah, um, I'm 18 in May next year, so that's going to be the time that I'm turning over. So I'm just trying to rack up as many fights as I can in the amateurs, win, lose, or draw. I get in every competition there is, everything out there. So win, lose, or draw, I'm not really bothered because it's amateur boxing anyway. Um, big thing is professional boxing next year, making a mark and get some money. Do you fancy a bit of MMA grappling? No, yeah, definitely not. He's done a bit of it before. But yeah, he's done a little bit. He's he's quite talented. But uh, wrapped him up a few times, twisted him up like a pretzel. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. That, true. that is very. Just let me say for anyone out there, do not wrestle with um, big MMA wrestlers because it ain't gonna end well for you if you're 14 stone or less. Let me just say that. 
in other words. Um, but talk about sort of the level here. It's such a, a high level from the very, very top. And then, you know, you've got people like Conchi and, and um, you know, Huey below Tyson. And then, you know, all, all, all these guys here are all different levels. It, it seems to be the right place to be. That's right. Like I said a minute ago, I can fight. I can definitely fight and I can definitely punch. But when it comes to boxing, it's, it's what I'm not used to. I'm really raw. So coming down here, it's taught me that it's not just about punching someone really hard and uh, getting in a brawl. It's about boxing. It's about the art of boxing. So sparring with these guys, it's just hard to even land a glove on them. So like you say, can't get better. I'm just learning all the time. And obviously under the guidance of your uh, MMA coach and also Peter Fury, um, there's a good combination there for you to succeed in this game. That's one. Like I say, my MMA coach, my father there, he's uh, been with me since day one, taking me to all the best places. He's found Peter and we just gelled straight away. I think big things to come because I'm athletic. Like I say, I punch out when I learn to box. The other weights are going to be uh, in trouble. In trouble. So what weight are you going to start off at? Um, I think because I think I'm going to, if I'm still, I don't know, it's hard to say because I'm growing all the time. Uh, right now I'm cruiserweight because I'm 14 stone. Um, but I don't know really. Um, next year I could be 40. If I'm, if I'm 14 and a half stone, lingering around that next year, I'll fight at cruiserweight. But if I have a big growth spurt and I get to about 15 stone two or something like that, it'll definitely be heavyweight. But I've got long arms and size 12 feet, so it's going to, it's going to be a, a thing. I think I'm going to grow. Anyway, Peter thinks I'm going to grow, so if I don't, it's one of them. I have to put up. Mike Tyson's five foot nine, wasn't he? And he did it, but we'll see. You can only do your best, can't you? If it's meant for you, it's meant for you. If it's not, it's not. But um, I believe I'm going to do well. Um, obviously, the the pinnacle of the Team Fury gym here is Tyson Fury. Um, it's been going for obviously a whole period at the moment, having to relinquish his belts and. Uh, problems outside of the ring. Um, have you guys sort of seen him or spoke to him recently? I've not seen him recently, no, but I was only, I don't know him all that well, to be honest with you, because I've not been here that long. So uh, when I did spar with him, I couldn't even hit him. He's phenomenal, really good. Thomas? Yeah, he's, um, yeah, he's getting there, he's doing good, um, but it's one of them, he's his own man. And uh, like Peter said up there, I'm not really going to comment too much about what's happened. Uh, I'll leave that up to him, but um, you know, He's, he's the best. He's the best out there. So when he gets right, there's no one's beating him. Let's just say that. Well, I see a video the other day of um, him in Paris in a Ferrari. So uh, I think that day there was all right. Yeah, definitely. You know, yeah, everyone has good days and bad days, don't they? Uh, so I'm sure he'll come out of it uh, and get back in the ring soon. Obviously, we wish him a speedy recovery and getting over all these problems and issues. And we want to see him back in the ring next year. That's the, the bottom line. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, uh, I think everyone in the boxing world love him or hate him, likes to see him in the ring because he's exciting what he brings to the table. Because you know, for a big man that he is and the way he moves, it's sort of phenomenal. He can move better than me, and he's four stone heavier. So it's one of them, really. He's just an entertaining character for the boxing world. All right, the two Thomases. Have you got anything else you'd like to add? Not really. I think I think I'm good with that. Are you good with it? I'm good with it. Yeah. I, I would say something there, uh, but you know, if there's any women out there, you know, <laughs> you know yeah, just follow me on Instagram at Tommy Fury07. Trying to rack up the followers, just get a good uh, base because if you can get a good base, you know, you never know what could happen. I mean, he's from Lee, and there's no heavyweight scene in Lee, is he? So let's everyone in Lee get behind Tom Aspinall. That's it. I'm engaged though. Uh, forget the, oh, engaged, forget the women bit. I'm engaged. Like I've got a kid and everything. I'm so engaged, I'm women good. get in. Everyone else get me. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Just give him the support unless the women come to me. I'm not too bothered. Can you just put out there, it's all right for like males to follow you on your social media accounts as well, otherwise, you know. Yeah, it's... Uh, don't forget, it's the males that buy the tickets. Yeah, the males can, yeah, but no messages off them. Just leave that to your wives. And we'll be Jesus, good. Jesus Christ. Um, all right, well, listen, Thomas Fury, Thomas Aspinall, thank you very much for talking to uh, IFL TV. And uh, interested to see, like I said, that transition from the MMA world into... Uh, the pro boxing game and we anticipate your pro debut as well at some point hopefully next year yeah definitely um, I cannot wait for that at all because I know that the pro style is for me um, you know I'm sparring I'm sparring you he's number six in the world um, Tom they're all big fellas so and they're legit heavyweights so when I get in the ring with a cruiserweight they're not going to do any harm to me really are they I'm taking heavyweights punches so I'm ready for it can't wait all right, guys, thank you very much for talking to us and uh, hopefully we'll catch up with you really soon. Thank you very much.
Appreciate it.